day once again. Good day, my dear students. For this day, we will be learning inferring meaning of borrowed words using prefix. At the end of this lesson, you are going to infer the meaning of borrowed words using prefix, write the meaning of borrowed words using prefix, and always observe politeness. Read and understand each question properly and choose the correct answer. Write your answer in your notebook. Number one, the prefix pre can be added to which of the following words? A, determine, B, conscious, C, discover, D, mortem. Number two, the prefix poly in the word polygamy expresses A, zero, B, many, C, one, D, none. Let's find out your answer. For number one, the prefix pre can be added to which of the following words? It can be added to all words given. It can be added to determine, discover, conscious, and mortem. Therefore, the answer is A, B, C, and D. Number two, the prefix poly in the word polygamy expresses many which of the following is an example of a prefix number four in the word unilateral the prefix uni refers to now check your answer which of the following is an example of a prefix the answer is ko, letter C. And uni refers to single, letter B. Choose the correct prefix to make a new word matching the given definition. Blank pour is to heavy rainfall. What is the correct answer? Great job. The answer is down. So downpour is like heavy rainfall. Great job, kids. Identify the appropriate prefix to get the opposite meaning of the word regular. The prefix miss can be added to... Let's check your answer. Identify the appropriate prefix to get the opposite meaning of the word regular. The answer is air. So, you can say irregular. It's opposite. The prefix miss can be added to the correct answer is letter A, interpret. So, you can say misinterpret. Next number, number 8. Choose the words that can be formed by the given prefix mal. Number nine, identify the word that means at equal distance. Let's find out your answer. Correct. For number eight, malnutrition. The answer is nutrition. For number nine, at equal distance means letter B, equidistant. Ten. Which prefix is used to get the meaning related to one? Is it uni, ultra, miss, or para? Now you're done. Let's find out if you got if you got the correct answer. Correct. The answer is uni. Write the root word of the given prefixed words. 
For number one, rewrite. Number two, discomfort. Number three, unsafe. Number four, superstar. And number five, unfriendly. Okay, so the answer for this is, for rewrite, the root word or the base word is write, discomfort, comfort, unsafe, safe, superstar, star, unfriendly, friend. So what have you noticed to the given words? It has the words that you see have uh, prefixes, right? For the word write, it uses re as its prefix. For discomfort is this. For unsafe is on. For superstar is super and friendly it's on. And actually you have the suffix li. But we focused our lesson today to the prefixes. You have learned that root words are the basic words to which affixes. Prefixes and suffixes are added to form a new word. What do these words have in common? What prefix does each word have? What does each word mean? As you see, you have this react, discover, and fair. We see actually the base word or the root word act, cover, and fair. These words has or these words uses prefixes, which the prefix that you see we have re, this, and un. Today you will learn to infer the meaning of the borrowed words using prefixes. Prefixes are affixes that are placed at the beginning of a word to modify or change the meaning of that word. The prefix re means again. This means a part of away from and on means not. Hence, your knowledge of the meaning of function of the prefix can help you infer the meaning of the word. Here is the table that shows a list of commonly used prefixes, its meaning and the words that contain them. Refers to number, so these are the prefixes. The words that refers to quantity and time. And you have here its meaning and, and their examples. So just like this, mono, because we know that the meaning of prefix mono is one, right? So monograph, so it's like one graph. And we know that bi means two, so we say bicycle, so it has two wheels. Next, we have another. Another other prefixes, which we all also always encounter. Okay, you have here its meaning and examples. Wonderful kids. Great. Now let's move to what's more, what have you learned? So use the appropriate word inside the box to complete each sentence. For number one, when I blank the tire, it will be flat. Number two, the price of shirts will blank during the big sale. Number three, to make more soup, blank the amount of water. And number four, Mr. Perez was the blank in our town. And number five, a blank gym was constructed for the people in our barangay. Now write your answers in your notebook. Okay. 
So you can pause the video while you are writing. Great. Let's find out the correct answers. Number one is deflate. When I deflate the tire, it will be flat. Number two, the price of shirts will decrease during the big sale. Number three, to make more soup, increase the amount of water. Number four, Mr. Perez was the ex-mayor in our town. And number five, a multi-purpose gym was constructed for the people in our barangay. Great job, kids! Now that you have completed your work for this day, write what you have learned in this lesson by answering these questions. What is a prefix? Give five examples of words with a prefix, then use each word in a sentence. Write your answers in your notebook. Please submit your work to your teacher by sending it to, your, to his or to her account. PM your answer to your teacher. Now let's go to assessment. I want you to read each question, each read each question carefully and write the letter of the correct answer in your notebook. Number 1, what does the prefix this mean? Now check your answer. Correct. Not or opposite of. Number two. The prefix miss means which of the following? Check your answer. Correct. Letter B. Wrongly. Number three. Based on your knowledge of the prefix dis, disapprove means to not get along, to not approve of something, to approve of something, or to get along. Now check your answer. Correct. The answer is letter B, to not approve of something. What is the base word of misguided? And the correct answer is guide. In number five, micro means blank. Right, small, one or two. Now let's check your answer. Correct. The answer is small. Great job, kids. I hope you learned something from our lesson today. Thank you and see you next time in our next um, in our English class. Goodbye everyone.